Hello, my name is John. I'm part of the DriveHUD team. In this video, we're going to go over the hand chart deviation report, which is a quick way to have DriveHUD take a look and see mistakes you made in your play post session. So let's take a look at how to create one of those and run it. For purposes of this tutorial video, I'm going to create a raise first in six max cash game hand chart. So what the deviation report allows you to do is to create any kind of scenario you want in a hand chart. Uh, for example, I could create a bunch of three betting ranges or a mixture of um, raising ranges, calling ranges, and three bet ranges. And then after my session is done, I can go into my session report here, as I'll show you later in this video, and then run this report and see what mistakes I made based on kind of my ideal hand charts. So you can do this with GTO hand charts or whatever um, charts that you want to program in. And then you can take any of this information and make sure that you are following those post session and any ones that you aren't, Drive Out 2 will let you know and you can mark and tag those, replay them, um, export them and so on. So first of all, you want to, we're going to create a hand chart, like I said, so from pretty much any screen that you're at, these four icons, the second one here is the hand chart creation screen. We're going to open that up, and you will have some uh, pre-selected charts here, and these will continue to be added to as DriveHUD 2 evolves, but like I said, for this um, example, I'm going to create one that is a raise first in from under the gun in 6 max just to keep things um, simplistic but from there you'll understand kind of how this works so in our hand chart here up top we have all the different positions listed by 10 positions so a max of 10 players at the table if you see here 6 max the first position starts at low jack so if you're just playing on a six handed table the first position is going to be low jack, high jack, cutoff, so on and so on. If you're playing four-handed, it would start at cutoff. If you're playing nine-handed full ring, it would start at under the gun plus one and so on. And I think you get the picture here. So I'm going to select uh, low jack. And the first thing I do is I have these options down here, raise, push, call, three bet, four bet. So these are the actions that I'm going to be looking for for this specific hand. So I'm doing raise first in, in this case. I'm going to add um, probably roughly about 14% of my range. So I'm using this slider here. Or you can also just input a percentage and then I'm going to adjust some of these ranges as I see fit. So I'm going to go to let's say roughly 13%. And again, this is all raised first. And if I wanted to add some three bets in here, I could add three bets and so on, or cold calling hands. But for simplicity's sake, this is raised first in. So I'm going to save this chart. I'm going to call it raised first in under the gun, six max. And I'm just going to add this test so I can easily find it. And I'm going to hit save. So now I have that saved and I'm going to go ahead and run that in my hand chart deviation report. So now to run with our new hand chart that we just created, you scroll down here in your report area, click on hand chart deviation, and this will bring up a list essentially of all my sessions. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to select this session and select the new hand chart that we just created, raise first in under the gun six max test. All I do is select that, I click run, and now it's gonna compare that against all the hands I played for that session and spit out which ones I didn't play according to what I was saying I wanted to. In this case, we can see right away, threes and deuces under the gun, neither of those were in my raise first um, chart. I'll go back and show you that, but uh, we cut off, I believe, at fives. So in this case, I raised for sim with that. I'm in raise in it, tag that. So I can later go back and look at this, or like I said, I can right click, I can export this hand, I can make a note about it, I can go through and um, analyze it any which way I want. 
um, as we just had in the hand report here or the replayer I can go up into the hand chart creator directly from here uh, you notice at the top it says the hand chart action says to fold and I open raise so but we can open up the hand chart here go to our raise first in test as you can see we cut off at five so that's why it's flagging that and that's essentially how this works so um, like I said you can create any kind of test if I wanted to create um, a three betting range from the button or I want to mix several different hands in there three bets and cold calls I usually recommend just focusing on one particular aspect of the game um, and because you can run multiple hand charts uh, for each session but you can mix uh, different strategies three bet calling and all that and you want you can do it from all the different positions again in this case just for tutorial purposes we did under the gun but you could do same raise first in for every position at your table uh, for different uh, types of games six max full ring um, you know and it applies to tournaments and what have you if you're in your hand chart deviation report here this is for cash games only if you want to run one for your tournaments it's the same process you're creating a chart that's generic it can be applied to anything you just have to go into your tournament tab and then go into your hand chart deviation report from there and then just do the same exact thing as we did with cash games so I would run whatever the test is um, let's say I wanted to do a push fold chart and I run and then it'll flag whatever errors I have here in this case I have nine I can go through and tag those and replay them and analyze them further so that's essentially what the hand chart deviation report is about I hope that's helped you and then, as always if you have any questions just contact support at support at acepokersolutions.com